Anything that happens is good. It's good. Hi, welcome to Glimpse TV. I'm Kate Northrup and I'm here with my friend Josh Pice, which rhymes with spice. I always want to call you Josh Pice. Pace. I always do. It's the bane. I of wanna my call existence. it like um like the Spanish like Pais. But oh, that actually pace, works. Right. Right. So anyway. Pais. Pais, like yeah. a place. Right. Um, we're actually in Josh's home and Josh is an actor, an entrepreneur, an artist, a writer, a director, a producer a producer? I produced a documentary. Okay. Yeah. A dog owner. Dog owner. Um, what else? A dad? A dad. Um, occasional vegetarian. <laughs> are you guys doing? What are you guys no, doing now whatever. with food? Just whatever. Yeah, okay. some meals were vegan. Okay. And some meals were carnivore. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Very so we're cool. kind of multi. Um, we covered the gamut. Uh huh. Are you still doing mate every morning? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's great. You have a mate in a French press. Yeah. Well, that you guys are who I learned it from. So yeah. I've been. I just switched from coffee to mate. I do that like usually a few times a year. And I think about you in the morning when I drink my mate. Really? I wonder if Marie and Josh are drinking their mate. Every morning? Like, not every single two morning. Two or three of the week. I would say two out of th two, two or three. Oh, wow. Out of seven. I feel That's honored. pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I always think about, so um, when I first met you guys, Marie, Josh's fiance, um, told me, and actually you did too, that she doesn't let Josh have caffeinated coffee or even decaf, right? Um, sometimes decaf. Yeah. Okay, sometimes decaf is okay yeah. because you get irritable. Like, irritable yeah. and like super cranky, but it's only yeah. the caffeine from coffee, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty nice on um, yerba mate. You are nice. But when I, you know, <laughs> but I see fault with the world when I have coffee. It just makes you. It's like, why did you put that down? Why did you put that paper down like that? It's like it's like PMS or something. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Interesting. So Josh teaches this class. When, well, so Josh and I met at yoga, um, and he did not have a voice at that time. And um, so we hung out for about a week, and he wasn't talking. And I have to tell you, you made me laugh so much. You still make me laugh all the time with a voice, but even without a voice, the physical comedy. And then I took your class, Committed Impulse, which is a class. But I didn't have a voice because I had laryngitis. Oh, exactly right. right. No, that was I just left that out. Or I, was, I was on like a month. I was on a. <laughs> you had a, some rich, sort of a, a node. No, I just had laryngitis. Oh, so you yeah. just weren't talking. I suppose. Because you're yeah. an actor, you need your voice. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, then I found out possibly why you're so funny. He teaches this class called Committed Impulse, which is for actors, artists, and entrepreneurs. For us really to learn, how would you like sum it up? I would sum it up, um, it's to be creatively invincible. Mm -hmm. So that no matter what you're feeling, no matter what kind of thoughts are in your head, and no matter what the situation is, you can still do your best work. That's great. Yeah. That seems like that would be something that every single person would need to know. I think so. So it's, I, yeah. yeah, I actually know the, some of the curriculum because I took this eight, eight week class. Mm -hmm. And it was actually during a really critical time in my life where learning, one of the things Josh teaches is, is how to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. about what's going on in our bodies, mm -hmm. right? And so there's three basic inroads to that. Can you share with people what those are? Mm -hmm. um, well, there's really four. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah apparently yeah. I need That's why you got a B plus. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, there's, well, there's, there. Oh yeah, there's four. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so that, so one is just um, starting with your body is just to feel the actual sensations that are in your body. And it's not to dramatize the sensations right. and even to break it down even more, um, you know, we, we're so enculturated to believe that there's good sensations and bad sensations. For example, like everybody thinks anxiety is bad, but if you really break down what the actual experience is, it's usually kind of like this mm -hmm. in your upper body, maybe a little more chaotic. And if you don't dramatize it, but you stay with the purity of this, first of all, it shifts within seven to 12 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then you start to, it's all about increasing your tolerance for the full spectrum of body sensation. Yeah. And if like the old school way is to try to monitor yourself and, and 
manipulate yourself to some ideal. Right. But that doesn't really work unless you suppress yourself. Right. And if you suppress your body, your attention has to go somewhere and then it goes up into your head and it's like... What happens then? Well, like, you know, <laughs> Deepak Chopra says we have 65,000 thoughts a day and 98% of them we had yesterday. Mm. I don't know how we came up with that number. I know. How did they do this yeah. research? <laughs> How many? How many? <laughs> I'm like, I am thinking right now. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, doing this work for over 20 years with like movie stars and yeah. entrepreneurs and people at all, it's like you listen to those thoughts and it kind of always boils down to some version of I suck. Like, I'm not this enough. I, I'm screwing this up. Mm -hmm. I'm. And I'm not talking about when you have an inspirational thought, but the chatter. The the ninety eight percent, or what yeah. was the percentage that's negative out of those ninety eight thoughts, or ninety eight percent that we thought yesterday? Do you remember? It's like it's high. It's high. Most of them are negative. That's yeah. all you need to know. Yeah. yeah. So. So so just to answer, yeah. so one is to be aware of this information here. The other is when you do go up into thoughts and just kind of cycle around and leave what's around you. In class, what we do is we say, I'm back. I'm and back. so it's something you can just practice, you know, if you're in your, you know, walking down the street or whatever, and you just realize you've been like worrying about something or, you know, you did something wrong in the past or the what's going to happen. <laughs> you did like something just, wrong in the future. <laughs> <laughs> right. And it's just come back take a breath so it's breathing increasing remembering to breathe feel this sensation and also increase your awareness of what's actually around you mm -hmm. in your immediate environment mm -hmm. and so it's saying i'm back connecting with this breathing and connecting with what's actually in front of you will keep you present and on a creative level that opens the creative channel to do your best work. Right. And so many times like we think I have to to get to my best work, but sometimes it's just it just opens it opens right. It opens you, so you don't up. have to like you don't have to shut yourself down and shut off everything in order to be you. In fact, it's just allowing all that stuff to be there and yeah. then also be you while cuz like it's it's part of you but so, okay, here's a question. When all that stuff is happening, do you ever get into the mind trip of like, do you identify with the sensation in your body? Are those emotions? Are they just vibrations? Well, you know, like I said, you know, we're so led to believe that there's good sensations and bad sensations. Right. So, you know, if we, if typically if somebody feels fear, like they're, you know, maybe it's like, that it's just this, but they go, oh, I'm feeling fear. Mm -hmm. Then it's like instantly bad, and then instantly what we try to do is get rid of it, but then as soon as we try to get rid of it by basically decreasing our awareness of our body, mm -hmm. our attention goes into our thoughts, and right. then it's, and basically what people call fear is usually a series of thoughts of like, oh no, it's not going well, and what's what going on? Uh, but if you just stay with the purity of the sensation, and maybe it is intense for mm -hmm. a little bit, it's going to just keep you here and you'll be invincible. Like you'll be able to do your best work no matter what. So is that your definition of invincibility? Being able to do your best work no matter what? Yeah. Yeah. Let's I go love with that. that. Yeah. Okay. No, I it's that's good. good. So there's this whole school of thought that if we change our thoughts, we can then change our reality. Right. So what do you have to say about that to be a <laughs> your I, philosophy? Well, I mean, I would say, you know, if it works for you, then definitely do it. Yeah. Um, and I would also say, I would experiment with, you know, like Einstein said, you can't solve a problem within the, what is it? Within it's something the about like the same construct in which the problem yeah. was created. Right. Something like that. And so a lot of times, you know, we'll be in a situation where we're, you know, experiencing stress or we're trying to monitor ourselves, and we go into our head going like, okay, I got to really, I got to get really present. Uh, and it's like, okay, you know, I'm really going to, it's going to go well. It's going to, this meeting's mm -hmm. going to go well. And, but the other possibility is to, instead of trying to get better up here is to kind of step, say I'm back and connect to what's actually in front of mm -hmm. you 
which is what our mind doesn't want us to do, because our mind wants us to have all our attention listening to the crap. But just by con connecting to what's here, it's like you'll be completely perfect, you'll be yeah. completely appropriate, you'll, you'll always say the right thing. You'll say the right thing and you'll be and you'll be speaking and and you know, whether it's coaching someone or mm -hmm. having a meeting or speaking in front of a group of people. Right. Like you'll be speaking from you. Well, and that's what and at this day and age, like there's a really low tolerance for manipulation totally. in any kind of presentation. And you can feel it. It's icky. Like it, it is. I, I don't know if you've seen speakers who are professional speakers who you see them once and then you show up at another event and like they're given the same talk verbatim. And I feel it feels I like I feel cheated. Yeah. To to realize like oh you know and and of course during that first talk I sort of didn't didn't connect and one of the things I love that you say is that um, be, uh, kids and animals always steal the show because they're always being real, yeah. right? And yeah. you'll always be upstage by a baby or a dog. Because, right. Because we, as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, we have on. one. For, we're we're going to give a live demo of this. I promise you, you're not going to pay attention to anything Josh and I say now that Kuma's here. <laughs> this is my penis. <laughs> so sloppy and cute. This is Kuma. This is Kuma See, and, we, and Kuma's penis. We can't actually do the interview anymore because he's here. Right. And he's just so darn. And there, or just have a dog. <laughs> or just have a dog. Or just pick a dog. Up. Yeah. Be great. This is like the other way of. You can either be compelling. It's like he's so chill right now. <laughs> I so. know. He was actually really wound yeah. up before now. What was that little tablet chill. you gave him before the interview? I didn't give your dog any tools. I just stuck my finger up his nose. Sorry, Coop. You can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friends' nose. So anyway, um, I actually have found that to be incredibly helpful as I do do some public speaking and taking your class really helped me like, okay, so I'm there and I'm feeling my body and I'm feeling the like, Ooh. Um, but that, but not making that wrong is mm -hmm. huge and just being like, oh, and then I love that you say like, that's just, it's atoms moving around your body and then that particular configuration will change in about seven to nine seconds. Mm -hmm. 12, I say 12. 12. Oh, you said 12. But you're advanced. Who's counting? You're advanced 7 to yeah. 9 for Kate. And riding that wave. So for people who maybe can't come to LA or New York and take your class, how could they tap into this information? Because I can't recommend it highly enough. Um, well, I have a free online uh, little lesson oh. on, on committedimpulse.com. Nice. And then I also have um, an online program, mm -hmm. which kind of takes people through um, one is to become aware that usually this thing that we're trying to get rid of in terms of sensation is our greatest asset. Oh. And yeah. And yeah, to, that's a good one. <laughs> and to um, become aware of the sensations that you don't like to feel. It's really key if you want to stay present to become aware of the decisions you've made as to like this set of sensations is good, this set of sensations mm -hmm. is bad and then to see what you do mechanically when the bad sensations happen, right. which takes you out of the moment. And so it uh -huh. trains, it kind of breaks that down. Um, it is about like body armor and how to release body mm -hmm. armor, how to um, basically be irresistible when you're mm -hmm. creating. <laughs> and it's, it's super, super fun. And it's video based and it's video. It has a whole physical training mm -hmm. um, that's designed to get you present. By, and that's the series. And that's the, the series. Yeah. Which is, by the way, I mean, this is a side benefit, but it's a really good workout. Yeah, it is. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like if you did that once a day, you'd be like, yeah. And it's, yeah. and it, but it's, it's designed to get you present mm -hmm. as opposed to get you fit. Right. Getting exactly. fit is a byproduct. Yeah, of being present. Getting yeah. fit is a byproduct of being present. That's a good tweetable for you from Josh Pice. Yeah. So what are you the most excited about in your life right now? Um, I'm pretty excited about hanging out with you um, <laughs> and Mike. Um, Cameraman. Well, I have um, a, an awesome movie opening uh, September 6th. Oh. 2013. This, this year. year. This okay. year. Called Touchy Feely. Uh, Lynn, Lynn Shelton directed, uh -huh. and I'm the lead in that. Congratulations. And then I'm also doing a, sh a Showtime series called Ray Donovan uh -huh. with Leah Schreiber. Badass. It's going to be a great show. That's amazing. And that is on now or not on now? Uh, June 30th. Okay, that starts. starts June 30th. Yeah. Showtime. Yeah. Ray Donovan. Yeah. Okay, great. 
perfect. And we might yeah, have to just time to watch you. Teaching and having a good time and like Love telling it. people about Commit Impulse is so much fun. And yeah. Oh, it's an amazing, it's amazing practice. I took the class just because I knew Josh. Um, and I really like him, so I was like, whatever opportunity we can hang out more is great with me. And I, I was pretty blown away by how much it actually changed things in my life that I thought were totally unrelated, like mm -hmm. my business. I was just doing it yeah. for fun because I thought it was an acting class, right. and it's really not. No. I mean, fantastic if you're an actor, if you're a performer, but really if you're a coach, if you're an artist of any kind, any, if you yeah. in any way need to be creative. Yeah. And creatively invincible. Yeah. So you can find it at committedimpulse.com and Josh writes a blog there, which is really fantastic. He also yeah. says really funny things on Facebook. So you might want to connect <laughs> there. And yeah, thanks for coming on my show. Thanks, I love having you. Thank you. This is perfect. actually round two. The first time we shot it on the High Line, which I was obviously an amateur, it didn't occur to me that we'd have traffic noise, so we couldn't use it. So right. this is the good one. Yeah, this yeah. is the one. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>